All right, ladies and gents, here we are. We're going to pull off this uh, first little guy here. We're gonna pull off the valve body, etc. Hopefully we're gonna find our problem there and we will uh, continue on to rebuild the whole rest of the unit. And then, funny thing is, this left side cylinder, the one that worked, a, I can't get the, the uh, packing nut off. It's totally bottomed out, it's super tight. Hoping it's not just rusted. I'll be able to get it off. I gotta take over my dad's and put a torch on it and get two, two, two hands on it. Um, but yeah, it's curious and I can't even move this by hand, which is weird. So who knows? Look at that. You see that? That's my pins that are slightly bent. So a lot of wear on this plow. I'm sure we'll be able to keep it running for a while, but man, at some point this whole frame for the plow is just gonna fall apart. But anyways, I'm gonna put it on time lapse and we're gonna get this thing pulled apart. All right, so we're gonna take this uh, valve off. Hopefully find something causing the issue. Hmm. Well, I guess I just gotta clean this out. Um, the cushion valves are right here, so I need to take those out. There's probably an issue in those, I guess, but <sighs> there's not much going on here. So this can come off. This is just the lift ram. Um, there's a bolt there. I'm not gonna take anything further apart on this side. Um, go ahead and um, those o-rings are pretty well seated so I'm gonna get these basically the cushion valves get those out and then get these plugs out and then um, all I can do is clean it up put it back together if I don't notice anything big my other issue here of course is this cylinder seems kind of locked up so I don't know at the end of the day guys if this ends up being a huge issue I'll just leave the plow off the truck park it I mean it's not a big deal but I kind of would like to get this figured out so I can move on but <clears throat> all to the good so I'm gonna go back to time lapse and we're gonna use this vise to uh, hold that valve and see if we can uh, figure out what the heck's going on here Okay, a little update. Uh, nothing's really jumping out at me. I got the bottom cushion valve out. This one is absolutely stuck. These brass plugs are totally rounded. I'm gonna get those off later. The uh, actual mechanism that is, you know, allowing the fluid to go certain places. We'll get that all out here. Um, and we're just gonna one step at a time. I'm gonna take these. Um, over to my dad's at some point. So 
so we can inspect everything and then um, tomorrow the next day I'll um, you know take it apart the rest so I'll take this off that pump out of there excuse me look inside there and I'll have to just kind of take this out I mean I'm have to basically having to take it all apart and rebuild it um, which is fine it may snow actually before I can get it back together in which case we may shovel a few of our plow clients but luckily um, we're not we don't do we only have like five um, plus any any one of our um, you know any one of our regular clients who for some reason they're traveling we'll throw that in as a, as a bonus so, yeah we're gonna get this figured out kind of down I'm just uh, it's not a big deal, but this is not something I wanted to do. I, I'm not. <laughs> this is our plow truck, of course, and it's basically just sitting around. It's not plowing. Um, when it's snowing and people call, I'll have to get. If I, I could say no. But getting this battery charged up so I can get my wife's vehicle back in here, and the Corvette's still waiting its turn. So, <laughs> yeah, this thing. I had a pipe, I had the pipe wrench on this. I had this bad boy on it like that. I had it vice to where this would give me some leverage because of course it would just spin. Still couldn't get it out. Um, of course, this isn't one to come out. And, uh, you know, these will come out, but I gotta, I gotta buy some new, some, get some nice grips on them, so. Anyways, we'll figure it out one step at a time, but uh, we're digging into this Western Isarmatic Mark 3A cable driven um, or conventional plow setup. Thanks for tuning in. to get um, this one out, the brass plug. This one would not come out, not come out. Um, Dad helped me a little bit on it. He helped me get the uh, one of the cushion valves out and the uh, left side cylinder apart. But this, uh, this thing's been really cranky, so I ground it down. I got a center punch and what we're gonna do is drill into it as straight as we can. And then I'll use some sort of easy out operation that I got. I haven't even looked at it yet. Let me see what I got. Um, this may not be the right. No, this isn't, oh, is it? There it is. Okay, so. This one's actually, the tip is broken, but it still works for, um, Jeepers trying to focus in on that thing. So it broke, but obviously that diameter up to that point will work, but let's see here. Um, this is, I gotta be careful in this drawer. I got basically, yeah. In fact, let's get all these things out. I had a little, I used to have a little, uh, what do you call it? box of these things. So these are my, I've got another, another set of easy outs, but I need something smaller than this, but that's probably going to be the ticket right there. Oops. This is going to be the ticket. We're going to drill down. That'll go in there a little bit. That'll be just fine. Out this thing refuses to focus on what I want. All right, so as you can see, it's a little bit thinner up to about here ish. That'll be plenty to 
spin that out. Hopefully if the threads aren't just so, it might be the case where the threads are just so together with the, the other, you know, the iron or, or whatever. You just have to at that point drill it all the way through to the very, very edge. And then what you do is probably just get a helicoil kit for it. And that's what we might have to do. Helicoil will basically, you'll drill it out a little bit and then bring it um, with, as you spin the helicoil in to, the, to these threads. Sorry, I'm trying to, there we go. Basically we'd have to recreate these threads and so. As you can see a little piece of garbage in there. Let's see, oh yeah. Let me turn the light on. All right, so this is a little bit of a uh, live look into big gunk of something there. Um, not too sure what to expect here, guys. This is the first time I've done this, but let's see here. Oh, sorry, guys. Try some different photography here. All right, well, that is a bit of goopy gunky. Um, not too definitive, but definitely some signs of uh, something black deteriorating besides any grease that might be around, but I would say that's some sort of material that's liquefied over time. I don't know, so we're gonna see what happens. I'm gonna drill through this, put it on time lapse, and we'll take it from there. Okay, that didn't take long once I got some leverage on it. Uh, luckily, brass is a lot softer metal than steel, and so the steel just kind of worked through it. That that drill that was really <laughs> actually pretty dull, so. Um, I don't know if you guys have seen it in some of my other videos, I like to metal melt, so I'm definitely not gonna waste this brass. <laughs> so, I've got the, the good plug out of the other side here that I will um, go and match up a couple new ones. And then I'll melt this one, probably. And then uh, this stuff, let's see here. Um, all I can really do is this here. So obviously I'm gonna have to clean everything up, you know, metal shavings and all that, but I got to start to my little, uh, and I've got more. Just little odds and ends brass, but anyway, this is something fun. So um, here we are. We've successfully drilled all the way through. I kind of went crazy there. I didn't even look at it, but so what we're gonna do is very carefully, as I can see, as you can see my drill wasn't very straight, but we're gonna tap. We're gonna tap this in. Just as far as it wants to, and I'll probably tap that all the way through, because again, it's brass, so. Um, this type of thing, you wanna be extremely careful. Obviously, um, obviously in the bat, in the previous video or whatever, this tip broke off in something, so you wanna go as deep as you can, and there's a, definitely a breaking point to these things. But let's see if this old thing can spin out for us. This would be fun if it did. Oh. All right, it's not budging. So let's get the torch on it without burning up our rag as I keep doing, but. We're gonna, um, we're gonna heat up the situation for a long time here. I'm gonna put this on, on time-lapse. Okay, I hammered the next size in. This is plenty warm. I think this brass is literally just melded to the thing. Let's see if we can. Oops. That's what you, <laughs> that's what you don't want to do. Um, I think I could I could get that out pretty easily though. Um, well. All right, in a situation like this, I really went too too far on it and reefed on it too much. 
in a situation like this, it's just kind of fun to, because this is not a big deal. I'll, I'll get a, if I really needed to, I would buy, I'm, I could buy a whole new block. So I've already kind of decided that, but I don't think I'll have to. I'm not gonna get too excited about, uh, you know, things. This actually makes it funner, in a way. All right, there's my safety glasses. I will need those for this part. <clears throat> All right. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna grind off this stupid easy out that I broke. See if we can't just punch it through. No, I mean, it's not gonna work. Um, this drill bit, let's see what type of damage you can do on it. In fact, before we begin, let's get a nice, uh, well, I guess it should be right there. Right, I'm just gonna drill out the side. Nope, it is going backwards. Man. That's right on the edge there. Um. Huh. into it now but um um yeah. I'll end up repainting that anyway so what I'm going to have to do is just slowly but surely drill through that. I'm not going to bore you guys with that. It's drilling through. So, I mean, these aren't made of, you know, these things aren't made of titanium. So, or some of them might be, but um, it's just a long process. I probably could change the drill bits. This thing, I lost the, uh, the thing on it. So, I have to use a bunch of pipe wrenches. So, we're just going to continue with this and uh, we'll go back to time lapse. All right, guys, the going is slow. Um, I'm gonna look up to see what, what how much this thing costs, and if it's like reasonable, I'm just gonna get a new one because I'm gonna have to really clean out each little passageway as well. Um, again, I really am not sure what happened with this plow system. <sighs> Near as we could tell, we had a lack of pressure coming out of this side, and so somewhere in this block, along with these these cushion valves, which when the blade hits something hard enough, the back pressure through the cylinder releases this and it releases the pressure so you don't damage something. So what we were thinking is that one of those cushion valves got stuck open or that, that crap, this thing that we found in the system is, um, you know, blocking these passageways down here you know, those down there. So I'm gonna see how much this thing costs. See if I wanna waste my time on this thing. I'm gonna have to change drill bits several times. And I dug into it on this side a teeny bit with the air hammer, but this brass is literally just melded itself to there. And to be honest, I probably, probably shouldn't have been warming this you know, due to the brass, because I'm just heating the brass up, making it softer. But I was just trying to do something, you know, to get it out, so who knows? Live and learn, try, fail, and adjust. And uh, we're gonna figure this thing out. Well, this is what not to, <laughs> this is what not to do. Um, it's not too far gone that I've tried to drill. I gotta get with my dad at his, uh, to his drill press so we could, 
um, carefully dial it in. Um, and I'm not doing too bad. Uh, let's try to move around here. Um, just started to, whoops, dig into the wall there. But honestly, all we gotta do is get the plug out, make some new threads and put a new plug in it. Um, I checked, in fact, as you can see, Yeah, so it, it threads down pretty good, so. Oh, that's some good, that's pretty good view. Anyway, so I'm just trying not to destroy this block because they sell it only as a, as a complete unit with everything for 700 and some odd dollars, so. Anyways, we'll see what goes on next for this plow truck saga. <laughs> that was totally a dumb move. I broke that right in there. I shouldn't have used that easy out. I should have just drilled it. Drilled it small right in the center. Drill it bigger, bigger, bigger until it just does the threads and then do the helicoil. But I may take another stab at it tonight. We'll see. Rescued. And the threads seem to be looking pretty darn good. 